working at a gym called Equinox down there in Los Angeles, kind of like a high-end luxury mm-hmm. gym. A lot of celebrities work out there and stuff. So one day I'm just there, you know, doing my thing as a trainer. Marky Basie walks in. I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, man. Still feeling starstruck. Yeah. It's so weird for me to think of it now because he's the homie. Like, yeah. shout out, Mark. I saw him a few times at the gym before I actually like went up and was like, yo, I know you. Like, we, we've met before. Just because it was that, like, I was in my head type of deal. Yeah. I wasn't in my flow. <laughs> you weren't flowing. No, nah, I wasn't <laughs> flowing. So I went up to him. I was like, hey, man, I don't know if you remember, but you did a show in Pullman, like, three years ago at Washington State. And he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought he was just like, and I showed him a picture of us like at the bar. And he was like, oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> so we kind of talked a little bit about that night. And then I was like, let's let's train. We should train together. He's like, all right, sure. So we did a session and then we started training regularly and everything. And I would slow, like pick his brain on music and stuff and without trying to be like overwhelming um, and just, you know, throwing a little tidbits about, oh, yeah, I kind of like, I make music too. Blah, blah, blah. I had posted a video of a beat I was making or something on Instagram, and he hit me up and he's like, yo, come on tour. Mm. Just out of the blue, and I responded to my story. And I was like, you serious? Like, what? I was like, don't mess around, what's going on? He's like, no, I'm serious, come on tour. Just come help us stay in shape, like be like a quasi kind of security guard. We need like a big body or something with the crew. And then just help me record on the bus. I wanna keep creating and stuff, come help me record. Um, So I was like, yeah like absolutely so hopped on the the bus in philly early june it was a two-month tour um i was training him and you know the crew on the on the road and had the chance to help him record some of the music he's worked on with other people and then as well as um produce for him so i actually got to make some music with him that's going to be coming out Uh, that's crazy man so yeah it's kind of wild it was like people some people moved to los angeles with the the intentions of pursuing music you know and don't mm-hmm. don't have an opportunity like i've had in a decade you know what i mean so yeah. i'm very blessed very fortunate and yeah. and i'm thankful for um for mark for you know bringing me on board and for you know just the what i believe is divine intervention in that case and for sure, man. um so it was, it was a great crazy experience